So in this video here, we're going to run inference and export a YOLO V8 model that we trained on a custom object detection data set in the last video. Now we're going to export it and run live inference in our own custom Python script, move a webcam around and see if we're actually able to detect the objects that we have trained our model on. So in the last video, we trained a YOLO V8 model from Ultralytics. Here we can see the training graphs, the loss are decreasing nicely, and also the mean error position is increasing. We get some pretty good results at the end after only training it for 20 epochs. So if you just scroll down, we can see that this is actually like the predictions that we get. This is the custom object detection model, the custom YOLO V8 model that we have trained. We can see we detect these five types of cops. Let me just scroll down. We can see another example here. We get some pretty nice detections, also pretty high confidence scores. We're using the YOLO V8 medium model. If we go over to the left, we can see that we have our runs. If we go inside the tech, and our train, we can go and extract the weights. So we can either take the best model throughout the training or for the last epoch, let's go with the last model here or like the best model. So we can just right click it and hit download. It will download onto a local machine. You can just directly drag and drop that file into our custom Python environment. So we're just jump straight into Visual Studio Code. We're going to have our own custom Python file where we're going to import the model, create an instance of our custom YOLOV8 model. I've just copy pasted the model over here. So we can see we have this cupmodel.pt. So this is our custom YOLO V8 model. And now we also have this Python script. So from Ultralytics, we're going to import the YOLO class. We can then create an instance of a YOLO class. Instead of having a pre-trained model, we can then call cup model.pt then we can get the results we can specify the source so you can either like have a numpy array um pll uh, image jpeg video source here so the source here is for a webcam we can specify if we want to show the results store the results and also set a confidence score for filtering out like our predictions we can also go inside alternative documentation and see all the other different kind of like arguments that you can throw into this model function in one of the upcoming videos we're going to see how we can extract all the results use it in our own custom application and projects uh, and create a whole class where we extract the results, do visualizations and so on on our own instead of using the functions from Ultralytics where we do, can't really do like too many customizations. So we can extract all the results from this results variable that we returned from our model. So I'll just grab my webcam here. We also have all the cups in front of me. So let's try to see if we can do live inference on a webcam. I'm just going to run the program. There we go. So now we can see that we're detecting the Halloween cup, the, the, the standard cup, and also the cocker cup with some pretty high thresholds. We can see we get some false predictions here and there, but they have really like low confidence score. Let's try to see if we can detect this hand painted cup. Sometimes it gets it, sometimes not. So it has some problems with that, probably because of the lighting just take it away. So here we can see we get some nice predictions with our hand painted cup. Try it with some of the other ones. So we have to copy here. It also depends on the data set, like and how many images you have in your data set. This is not the exact same background as when the, when the images were actually captured. But we can see that this Halloween cup, it actually like has pretty good, uh, pretty good inference results with that. We can also apply optic tracking. We're going to do that in one of the upcoming videos. So we don't lose track over a number of frames. So here we're just doing custom update detection on every single frame. We're not really tracking the optics over time. So that is for one of the upcoming videos. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you'll learn a ton and how we can actually like do inference. So in the last two videos here, we have actually like been training our own custom YOLOV8 model from Ultralytics on our own data set. We have labeled the data set, trained in Google Colab, we exported it, and now we're running live inference in our own Python script that we can use in our own projects and applications. So thanks for watching again. See you in the next one. Bye for now.